Okay, so obviously if one of the real keys here as we're going through word and formula equations is that we need to know how to put together the formulas, the compounds of things. And so this slide really just kind of reviews that. Um, I want you to recognize the polyatomic ions that, um, that I say are just so common that I've asked my class to learn. And then also just a reminder of those diatomic uh, elements that I just mentioned. So polyatomic ions, the, the seven that I asked you to learn was ammonium, nitrate, acetate, hydroxide, sulfate, carbonate, and phosphate. Um, okay, and then of course I just mentioned the diatomic elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine or iodine. Okay, so of course these are the things that you're going to re you're going to realize that you're going to need to know. Now again, just as a quick reminder, polyatomic ions. If you hear a word equation that says a magnesium nitrate, you should say to yourself, self, magnesium is a two plus charge because it's a alkaline earth metal. Nitrate is one of those polyatomics that I need to know and it has a minus one charge. And then again, either doing crisscross method or balancing charges, we get a two plus and a one minus. Obviously, magnesium and nitrate, we would need two nitrates to balance off. We could again, crisscross if you want to think of it that way. I, I always prefer to think of it as two plus, two minus would be my least common multiple. I need one magnesium. I need two nitrates, so there would be my formula. And it's very important to go from that word, magnesium nitrates, to the formula MgNO32. All right, so that's your polyatomic ions. I remind you about the diatomics. I like to remember hydrogen, then I go to nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And again, that gives me my hydrogen, and then I go to the seventh, and it looks like a seven on the periodic table. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Anytime you hear any of these, it's going to be alone whenever it's alone. It's, 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 I shouldn't say that. It should, it's never alone. It's always going to have two whenever it's alone. So hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. Know that we don't keep O2, H2. I mean, if I have hydrochloric acid, it's HCl. I just have one of each. But notice it's not alone. If I have water, H2O, I can have one oxygen. We don't always have to have two oxygens. That's just if you have only oxygen, then it's O2. All right, so that's the polyatomics and diatomic elements. I'll leave that at that and move, uh, move along.